Today we're going to build overhead garage storage shelf um, to kind of eliminate some of this clutter that I've got collecting below my workbench and hopefully make things work a little cleaner uh, with just seasonal items that I can throw up there and some other just maintenance things that I don't use often. I'm going to be using a lot of scrap wood that I've got. Uh, just some uh, particle board that's radiant barrier from when they did the roof, but it's left over, so might as well put it to good use. Let's get started. All right, so I got this measured out. The distance between the wall and the garage door is just over 22 inches, so that's how deep my shelf is going to be. Um, I'm actually going to do two different heights on this side uh, because to get it the same height as a garage door, um, we're going to have to go at 12 inches, which will work for some of the boxes that I want to store, but a lot of them, that's just right at where it needs to be. So uh, since the two pieces of particle board that I've got are actually eight foot long, that'll actually end right here coming from the wall, which is perfect. So beyond this point, I'll drop it an additional two inches and go the rest of the way back. I'm not going to do this section here because that's where my eight foot ladder will go. And uh, it goes all the way to the ceiling. So probably just cut it off where the workbench ends. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and locate the studs in the wall, locate the ceiling joists, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so I've located the ceiling joists and the studs in the wall, uh, marked them, and the ceiling joists are actually about 20 inches apart, so I'm actually going to end um, right in line with where this attic hatch is. Uh, so I'll have about foot and a half of the bench that doesn't have shelving over it, but that's not a big deal. Um, so lower cabinet is actually going to end about here, and then we'll go up to the upper side of it. And uh, I'm sorry, not cabinet, shelving, but we'll go up to there, match what uh, the garage door is at, and go that way. And we're actually only going to come out 20 inches because the scrap wood that I have is uh, only 20 inches deep. So yeah, we'll go that and... Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and tack these up there, use some 2-inch sheetrock screws to go through them, get them at the heights we need, and then lay out the actual supports. Alright, so I got the back pieces up. Um, what I did here, because of the mechanics of this, I don't want to try and figure out how to get the screws in, so I took this piece of 2x4, notched it so that the 2x4 will sit in place, and it's just going to sit right up there. And then that 2x4 on the bottom that I'm going to put to support it will just sit on there and I can just screw it down from the top. We'll be good as gold. So I have gone through also and pre-drilled the 2x6 that I'm going to use as the middle support and put the screws through to make sure I'm going to get enough distance. Um, make sure I'm getting a good grip on the ceiling joist. Don't need to use a 2x6, but like I said, I'm using scraps for all this, and this just happened to be about the right size. So, I'm going to get that screwed in up there. I'll get the other piece put in over here for the corner here. Alright, so we've got the three support pieces in place. Uh, looks a little weird right now, but uh, I actually used my square to make sure that it was uh, square with uh, the wall there. So, now what I'm going to do is measure a distance between these two supports and cut my 2x4 down here to that length and we'll attach that across the bottom and then I'll take a measurement from this support to the wall and cut another one that length and level it off and screw it on there. It should be about 12 inches from the ceiling and then I'll just have to measure and cut the particle board and put that up there and screw everything in place. I uh, got the two front bottom rails on and now Looking at this, it's, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty stable. It's not going anywhere, but I do think I want to take a piece of two by four and put it front to back here. Uh, give it a little extra support since we have that on the end down there. So I'm going to do that, take some measurements and see where I need to notch these and uh, get these put up there. All right, and that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, as you can see, I kind of went ahead and notched uh, these pieces here, and I did put the support across the back, I'm sorry, the side. Um, at first, I was kind of thinking I should have cut this so that the silver would be on top, but 
I don't know. I think it kind of looks cool. And I might end up putting a light or two up there. Give myself a little bit extra work light. It's not bad when the garage is open, but when it's closed like this, it's got a lot of dark spots. So now the fun of just sorting through things and putting stuff away. Um, this shorter section actually turned out to be pretty good for storing paints and all sorts of different chemicals, cleaning and control, all that stuff. And I did decide to put a light up there just to make it a little easier to work with. So yeah, turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um, in terms of cleanliness, still got a lot of work to do, but still got some more storage to use. Overall, like I said, using scraps, this project really didn't cost me a dime, except maybe about three hours of my time. Uh, probably could have done it faster if I wasn't so focused on recording it, but such is life. If y'all like this, uh, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to comment with videos you'd like to see in the future. Thanks.